Just drop it. I feel honored. There's a bee here! Found <laughs> a queen. So we're just going through the apiary and skimming from the big ones, giving to the small ones, of course. Before we boost up a smaller colony, we have to do an assessment to make sure they're viable. So we're basically counting frames of brood. Just looking at, you know, do a health check on the queen and uh, just assessing the brood nest to see what's going on. So frame full of eggs. Frame this side's full of pollen. So they have lots of resource in the colony, that is good. Working into a brood nest here, so it looks real nice. Solid brood pattern is always a good sign. Both sides, lots of bees. Bees are a little cranky this morning because it rained last night and we got, actually got going early this morning, nine o'clock, which is a treat. So they're just a little edgy. Here's another full frame of brood. I'm counting two frames of brood for this colony, which is really nice. Good brood pattern. And that's it for the brood nest. This side is some stored syrup. And I missed the queen. There's the queen. A little blocky, so she's in good shape. So there's two frames of brood here. And I'm counting, this week I'm counting three going on to four. So I want to add two frames of brood to this colony. But first thing I'm going to do is switch this box out because it's no good. Okay, so I have two frames of brood. And I want to boost them two frames. I'll go into my surplus brood box. A second frame of brood. And some bees. So the colony has been given a boost and it should fall in line with the rest of the apiary now. So I'm just working through this colony and there's one, two, three, four, five frames of brood. And it looks really good. This queen is doing a really good job. I've already found her. She's right here. This tag is saying she was put in here in 2017. And she probably is the queen from 2017. She's looking just a little bit old. You know, they get a little bit shiny. But she's doing a terrific job in here. Which is great. But as I work through the colony, as I come to skim out a few frames of brood, what I find is these supersedure cells. This one's capped and this one's still being developed. So these cells are gold. This, call, this queen's doing a great job right now. But she's old and she's not failing yet. These guys have identified, you know, she's probably at the end of her life cycle or whatever. There's, they know something I don't. They've already developed a replacement here and a plan B right there. So I am leaving these two cells in this colony to requeen this old queen here. Just get a visual on her before I put her back in. She's right here. 
here's another cell here. So I'm going to take one frame of brood from these guys. And I'm going to leave those cells there for replacement. And I'll let, and I'll let them just carry out their natural process here. And hopefully they requeen themselves. If they requeen themselves, then maybe there's another two years of life in this colony. And in two years from now, maybe I'll be looking back at this 17 and saying, hey, that's a pretty good colony. So I feel as important as beekeepers that we recognize what's going on within the colony before we act. We've got to know what these queen cells are doing. If they're swarm cells, then you know we didn't do our job properly and we have to reorganize the nest to be able to keep the bees we got to realize that a lot of these cells are simply replacement cells and we got to let this hive carry out its natural process those are the best queens i need two frames of, of uh, one frame of honey maybe and an empty frame uh, in this box with the cookies Yeah, one honey frame, and you can slide a uh, empty frame in here and close them up. Okay, I can take over. I take over queen. Which one's queenless? Yours. Oh. This one's queenless? Yeah. Okay, I'll dig into that one. <laughs> They're scream they are screaming, I'm hopeless. Hopeless? Yeah. So Carrie's dug into this colony, which is a mass of bees, and she's telling me it's queenless. So I just want to dig down to see you know, what's going on. Lots of drones, scattered bees, no brood. They're making that buzzy sound. So for whatever reason, this queen has simply died and they didn't, they didn't go through any effort to replace this queen. If this was an act, this queen died because of one of something we did within this colony there would be emergency cells they would have carried out the process to replace her we don't see any of that we're just seeing a colony with nothing going on inside which is extremely frustrating so she just gave up laying the eggs matured she died off and they had nothing to rear a new queen so this colony we're going to take to the next yard and we're just going to simply shake it in front of a colony maybe could use just a quick population boost these bees are they're obviously bees from this year so they'll be april beginning of may they're starting to get old now but they probably have a few weeks left they can con contribute to another colony's uh, development through the spring here okay let's load these guys up on the truck so i'm coming across this colony here it's really small maybe covers two seams of bees so I open them up and I'm seeing you know I'm seeing not a lot of bees but the adequate amount of bees covering the frame I got a brood nest starting on this side looks all right pull the next frame and it is just packed full of brood on both sides and we got the queen here laying in any spot she can so this is looking like, a, this is saying a 2016 queen. She's probably not a 2016 queen. I assume she is like a supersedure or something. Developed maybe a small nest. And this side is packed full of pollen stores. 
So they have room to syrup. So they have pollen, they have brood, they have enough bees, a healthy amount of bees, but very small, right? So these guys are gonna hatch and they're gonna instantly turn into like four frames of bees in here. So this colony isn't a shakeout. The colony like this, I'm gonna look at her and assess her, she looks good. Her laying pattern looks really good. She has a substantial amount of brood, a healthy population of bees to maintain that brood. What I'm gonna do with this colony is I could either, you know, boost them on top of a, a larger unit, but we're getting kind of late for that. So what I'll probably do with these guys, is I'll just drop maybe a frame of brood, maybe two frames of brood, and shake a few frames of young bees in here just to give her an instant boost. And she'll be able to grow out and build out this nest in normal function. So just because the colony is small doesn't mean it's a uh, shake out. Uh, these are what I call my salvage units. I only salvage the hives that show initiative, show a little bit of potential. There's no use shaking out this hive because it's small of circumstances that uh, are out of their control. Just our job is just to boost and promote the, uh, the brilliance within the apiary and keep these boxes full of bees. Carrie, this one needs two frames of brood. <laughs> 